the data and, 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 and as a team in the scientific community, all of us coming together um, to take it and look at how we simulate and model, and it will allow us to get some of that um, climate financing. There's also thing, something called climate justice. justice yeah. minister, we, we can't go yeah. and talk about climate justice and tell them that we should also benefit from that and show them from the simulated efforts that we are doing as yeah. world-class Jamaican scientists, right, to the world, yeah. that we can have the outcomes that we need at this time. Because I am seeing that the information is there. Pockets of us in Jamaica are doing different things, mm -hmm. but we are not in an ecosystem where we are all talking together. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, well, well said. Yeah. Um, just briefly, Lane, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Briefly. Now, now, I get what you're saying from the policy and the governmental standpoint, and that's perfect. But I'm still thinking about the grassroots man. Yeah. And, yes. and seeing the models is, is not going to move me as a, as a grassroots man. Yeah. What, what does work? Because if you think about how we buy, think of just how we purchase. Yeah. Most of the times you buy something because you've seen someone with the product. And you say, how does it work? And they say, it works good. Then you're quicker to believe them than you are the one who's trying to sell you the product. Sure. And so the same thing happens in this case. Now let's say we were to capture the data from this disaster. And we go in and we show this is what the size member, a two by four, looks like this. This is why it didn't work. So yes. let's look at what a two by six looks like. Yes. This is why it works. works so they right. understand in a video format because the majority of the persons will not read the documents. True. I'm at the university and I can tell you some of our students don't even know what the, the library look like. <laughs> so if the students don't know because we have a change Yes, system. in how we consume we, we information. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, yes. now we have to go in the video format more pictorial, more in that ma uh, manner, in order for the persons to digest yes, it. Whether yes. I can read or not, I can see the video. Yes, so, yes, and if I can't yes. see because of my, 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 my disability, I can hear it. Yes. But there must be something that we can communicate now for the wider audience in a manner that they can easily digest and, of course, transform in, in how they, they operate well, their well, well said. And, and, yeah. and on that point, there are several questions, yeah. and, and well, I'm going to ask one more from the audience for, for Paris. Mm -hmm. but. We will share all the questions. Several questions have come in, and we will share it with the panelists. And for those of you who are active on social media or WhatsApp, I'm going to implore you to make a short video answering the question and to post it. It will make some impact if we, if we, if we share the information. The very last question, and we haven't discussed it. Um, Minister did allude to the cost uh, that Melissa has had. Yeah. And somehow we haven't linked that cost to safety and security. There is an, a, a growing concern about the potential for civil unrest, mm -hmm. given the issues, given that the, 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 you know, the, the devastation, the absence of food and shelter and access to money um, is, 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 is considerable in, 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 in the disaster hit areas. Is there an interface between science, R&D, technology, innovation, and security and defense, how we, how we make ourselves resilient to crime, resilient to civil unrest. Is, is, there, is there something we can explore there? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I mean, you just have to look at, at, at how um, the R&D budget for a country like Israel, they focus a lot of their R&D, um, of, their, of their economy, the budget on R&D. And you can see how that redounds to their own mm -hmm. um, national security posture the ability to, to be resilient in, in many different ways. And you see the same thing in many different parts of the world. Singapore is another good example of that. Uh, and, and again, there is no separation. You talk about data scientists in every science. Data, in, data scientists in every science. Again, it's something that, 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 that there's a realization that this thing becomes very important. I think, Minister, you'd also appreciate that there is you know, it's one cabinet, one government, right? Mm -hmm. You guys just handle different parts of it, but you guys talk to each other. The, the reality is that the, the, the reality is that the, no, nothing nothing is nothing is is perfectly sequestered and siloed away no, from 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 these these guys unless unless you and Dr. Chang fighting about something but I mean I mean up, 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 there's nothing stopping it from happening yeah. right the, 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 but but we have to have that that vision of the integration yes. science cannot just be I mean, publish and perish you can't just have that mindset mm -hmm. and that's it. You have to understand the downstream impact on national security, economics, um, you know, well-being, and so on. But again, you know, even as we move into this post-relief, pre-recovery phase, uh, the private sector is working very closely with the international relief partners, ODPEM, et cetera, in mobilizing 
uh, the cash distribution that you're going to begin to see in a few days' time. Mm -hmm. and, and in part of that, we're going to have to be able to, to get cash to areas mm -hmm. that would be able to provide cash to, to, to beneficiaries in the affected areas. Now, to do that, you're going to have to figure out how you get the beryllium trucks <laughs> there. The, 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 the movement is that, that's the first thing. The second thing, as we move away from direct relief provisioning of food items to people in the affected areas, you reopen the shops so that they can buy food at the, the shop that's going to be reopened. Now, we need to make sure that they are open. Yes, yes. And, and why are they not open? And that's one of the things I keep looking at my phone right here. It's, it's because people are attacking me right now in terms of getting stuff open. But we have to have, um, we have, to have generator, Starlink. Because not only is it food and uh, food and water it's that they need. We, no, yeah. remittances, mm -hmm. banks, and ATMs, mm -hmm. yeah, cash yeah, points yeah, are going to yeah. be very important. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and again, uh, in terms of how, how, how these, the, these, these places have to operate, mm -hmm. Cliff can come and get a relief package at a, at a, at a, play, at a you know, um, handout place in um, Savan Alamar, even though he doesn't live in Savan Alamar. Yeah. We can't turn him away. Well, if Cliff shows up to get cash in South, we're going to have to run him. Yeah. So the, the, the whole, the whole yeah. relief apparatus has to change, um, both in terms of the technology that's going to be used to deploy um, the, 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 um, the cash movement and all those type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So the reopening of the economy is going to have yeah. that, that, that element there, and it's going to have to be guard mm -hmm. <laughs> by by national security principles. Excellent. Minister, a house of innovation is a mansion, okay? It's a housing scheme, okay? We, we, we have there's so much work to be done. And I'm, I'm, I really think it was a very riveting discussion. Um, Prof. Thorpe, it felt like we're in the middle, but we're, we're, we have to wrap up. We've gone about an hour and a half in this discussion, and it was a very, very vibrant discussion. Um, and I really do thank you all, not only for your contribution today, but your stellar contribution to building our nation. I think sometimes we don't quite appreciate the contribution we do have, the impact we do have um, in building the resilience that we, we currently do enjoy. Um, I hope for those of you who are listening in the audience, whether here or at home, you do appreciate that science, technology, innovation is not you know, just something to entertain bright minds, but it is something we must do to build resilience, not only against the storm, but to build resilience up to, to, towards the other threats that may face us and that will face us. So let's continue to have the conversation. I do apologize for those questions that we could not entertain, but we really do hope that through some collective exercise, we can share some feedback to the rest of the community. And once again, thank you so much for joining Conversations in Science, Weathering the Future through science, food security, and smart infrastructure for resilient Jamaica. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Ladies and gentlemen, you can know the conversation is good when I look in the audience and you're still here at this hour. And I looked around at the faces and I saw persons who were in tune. Wasn't this a rich conversation? And very sobering. Please give our panelists a hand. And our chair, and our chair who most ably directed the conversation. Growing up, we heard, was it a talk show? We're not just talk, we're? We're what? We're substance, yes. Uh, and also action. I think it did change over time. <laughs> but yes, we're not just talk. We are substance and we are action, right? So this conversation should not just end here tonight. We expect this conversation to be moved now into policy and into procedure and into direction. Or challenged us tonight to look at resilience as a shared responsibility. And I'm sure all of us here have internalized everything that was said. And it has been sobering, and we will come together, not just the work of governments, but all of us as citizens, to ensure that Jamaica thrives in this kind of climate situation. So as we bring this conversation to a close, I want to express sincere appreciation to everyone who made it here tonight. 
and who remained here tonight. Our heartfelt thanks goes first to Dr. the Honorable Andrew Wheatley for his thoughtful keynote presentation. Our moderator, Dr. Bailey, who expertly guided the conversation tonight. Our distinguished panelists here behind us, who gave deep insights and with candor and a depth of expertise we all appreciated. We also want to give special thanks to the SRC Board of Directors, the Strategic Committee, our partners, members of the media, and all persons who attended online and in person in this important conversation. But most importantly, I don't want to leave out and I want to express deep appreciation to the SRC team, the hardworking SRC team who worked behind the scenes to plan and execute this conversation this evening. They're a very dedicated professional team and I'm sure we all said, we all can say that we benefited from the discussion tonight. So on behalf of the Scientific Research Council and our Executive Director, Dr. Watson, thank you for lending your voices and here tonight at this effort. Conversations like this remind us that resilience will help to shape a smarter, safer, and more sustainable Jamaica. We invite you to stay connected with us by following us, the SRC on our various social media platforms, on Instagram at SRC Jamaica. You can find us on Facebook at the Scientific Research Council. And you can check out our website, www.src.gov.jm. And if you want to be a little more intimate with us, you can also call us. Our telephone lines, 876-927-1771-4. And you can also email us at edo or edoffice at src dot gov dot jm thank you for engaging with us tonight thank you for tolerating me tonight and we're happy tonight all our first scientists to um, shed these clothes and go back to our official <laughs> scientific work at labs um, as of as of tomorrow morning but thank you all again for being here and have a safe and pleasant evening We work for you with research and development. The SRC reinforcing Jamaica with added strength. From the fields to the labs, we gather and review information. Detailed research as a foundation combined with tech and innovation. Working for you to fulfill the plan to develop and help uplift the nation. And that's the mission. The Scientific Research Council making science and technology work for you. For more information, call SRC at 876 927